vision. I got a vision. Hey dudes, today we're exploring the smart city in Malta. You guys are coming with us, so let's go. So right now we're next to the fountain. Um, I'll show you some pictures because obviously it doesn't work right now, but it's supposed to look very incredible. So maybe we'll see today while we walk around. So I read online that uh, it should work every 30 minutes for 10 to 15 minute show. Also at nighttime, it looks a lot more interesting because there's lights and stuff, but let's see if we see it. Oh, by the way guys, we decided that we're gonna answer some of the questions from the comment section in the video, so stay tuned! Okay, one of the questions that we do have is how do we feel about the economy in Malta right now? And the short answer is, at the moment, it's good. So I think we can both agree that in the beginning everyone obviously felt a bit more panicky than everyone feels now. It's been a year and we have this for a year already. We kind of go back and forth with this because when it started a shop closed for two months and now one year later we are in the same position where stores are closed at the moment but it's only for a month. So the rest of the time everything was kind of operating as it was. And the job market seems to be recovering quite well. For the companies that needed to close, like retails and hotels and bars and stuff like that, government was offering a support to those employees and it was about 800 for an employee, so it was good. I think that kind of saved people from being laid off. In like two weeks we will be opening up again and Government is saying that in June we will open the airport and the tourists will be able to come back. So I think hotels and restaurants will be hiring too. Yeah, I agree. I think once the borders are open, the country will recover quite quickly. And we're just waiting probably for that. But at the moment, just a couple of weeks ago before the shops were closed, you wouldn't really think that people are financially suffering because of the way how people are shopping. But obviously we're not speaking about everyone. It's just like how we see the country at the moment. I never, I never, I never, I never. 
So we've been here for, I don't know, more than half an hour, possibly an hour, and the fountain is not working. So I don't think it's going to work today. So the next question was, what would be one thing we wish we knew before we moved here? And my answer is, I wish I would not be so overprepared, because things in Malta happen pretty fast. One thing, for example was we rented an Airbnb apartment for about three weeks. I thought that would be enough time to find an apartment for ourselves. It was kind of too long because what we did was we posted an ad on Facebook for that we were looking to rent and I showed the area where we would like to. And about 20 real estate agents reached out to me offering the apartments. And then we went apartment view and we basically signed our apartment in two days. So we will here in October 8th and we already had apartment in October 10th so I don't think you would need to allocate that much time for you so you don't pay uh, for two apartments as we did. One thing I, I wish I knew before coming here is um, that winters are actually cold here because we were checking the temperatures all the time before moving here and October was quite warm we were swimming and walking in t-shirts and shorts and then in like one month in the beginning of December uh, everything got cold and we didn't pack most of our winter stuff because if we thought we're moving to Malta it's gonna be super warm here we do have cold winters here uh, obviously the summers are really hot but the winter period is a lot colder than we expected it to be so, so pack your jumper pack your jumper you will not regret it <laughs> so if you want to know more stuff about our lives or living in Malta just keep on asking the questions we'll answer more in the future videos now we're gonna try to find a nice place where we could have some lunch today is our homemade cinnamon buns. We're gonna have some lunch right here. I hope you see them. <laughs> Thanks! I'm not exactly sure, but I think they are gonna build a shopping mall here as well in the smart city. Not sure how it's gonna work out, but we'll see. You should be sure, it's sure, line. <laughs> I think we walked all around the place. There's not exactly that much to see or walk around, so probably we're gonna head home soon. It looks like there used to be a lot more palm trees, but you can see this is the only one left here.
is going to be it for our day in the smart city. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed it. You can leave a like. If you want to see more of our videos, you can subscribe. That would be great. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!